2023. The first year of the Porsche 963 has been a challenging year and Porsche now confirms that they didn't meet their own expectations. So why is that? Porsche chose with Multimatic a very experienced chassis manufacturer and Porsche is their only customer in LMDH. So they can fully concentrate on the Porsche concept. Also, in my technical review, we could see that the Porsche is built in a very compact, elegant and efficient way. So just how we would expect it. And they chose a very experienced team to run their works cars. Penske, who even set up a European division in Mannheim to be closer to Porsche and the European races. The relationship between Penske and Porsche is said to be very good. And it goes a long way back. Now, the third place in the WEC championship is not too bad, but since Ferdinand Piech, Porsche does not just want to participate, they want to win in the highest category, or even better, dominate. And the 963 clearly isn't there yet. Of course, if we are looking at 2014, the first year of the 919, it was also just about gaining experience. But the main problem of the Porsche project is now that they wanted too much in the first year. They did not just participate in IMSA, they are also competing in WEC. Additionally, they started a new relationship with Multimatic and Penske to build and run the cars. Such relationships need time to work. Additionally, they founded a new team in Mannheim, Germany. And such a new location with new staff needs some time to run smoothly. Additionally, they produced customer cars before fixing all issues on their works cars. Usually, manufacturers run the works cars for a year to sort out issues and gaining experience before handing cars over to customers. All in all, Porsche says that all these decisions were correct, but it was unfortunate to do everything at the same time, in the first year. Because of that, the performance on track suffered, but Porsche can see a positive trend in the second half of the season. Advantage for them now is that they already have experience in both championships and they collected more data through customer cars. The reliability issues are mostly sorted now and they see themselves on the right track. Unlike Peugeot for example, they don't need to change their car concept for the next year. The car is competitive, the organization gained lots of experience but needs to work more efficiently together now. So what do you think about Porsche's first year in IMSA and WEC? Did they want too much or is it just the normal first year of learning? Let me know in the comments below and if you are interested in working in top motorsports aero development, check out my online career accelerator program. It's an intensive six week course which helps you to prepare yourself for a career in F1 with Katia V6 licenses and lots of valuable knowledge you can only get from people who worked in the industry. The first people who finished this course are already working in F1's aero developments. So you could be the next one. Check out the course with the link below and make sure you state that you found the course through my YouTube channel. See you at the next one.